It's the uh, Easter long weekend. Just hit the dirt on the Kempsey to Armadale Road. Heading up to George's Junction and then up into the Sticks River State Forest for the weekend. I think we're going to go for three nights. It's heaps of nice campsites, tracks, river crossings, everything up here. Been up here a couple of times now, so we do know the area a bit. We got uh, myself and Malachi in my car. And we also got my dad over there in his car who's coming with us this weekend. To get to here you head to the town of Kempsey and then from Kempsey you pretty much head west on the Kempsey to Armadale Road. It's maybe about 45 minutes of tar and then you hit the dirt, about 45 minutes of dirt and you basically follow the river all the way up to George's Junction through the valley. And this road's pretty much just a main dirt road, two wheel drive, you only need two wheel drive to get to George's Junction and then where we're going further up into the Styx River you do need a four wheel drive for a lot of the trails up there. But it's actually a really nice drive along the valley here, along the edge of the Maclay River. But this, this road gets really narrow. You got oncoming traffic, tight corners. You do have to be a little bit careful on it. We just stopped at George's Junction, had some lunch, had a swim, had a look around. Such a nice area here. Quite a lot of people but here, which is to be expected at Easter. Now we were going to drive a four-wheel drive track from here. Across the river, over there where that car is parked, up that bank there is the start of an unreal four-wheel drive track. You used to be able to drive it, but it's now been gated and closed off. I'm not sure why. I think people are being stupid up all along it. Uh, because it is a farm, it's, far, it's uh, got cattle farming land up there. It's a great track, had heaps of river crossings and uh, nice little rocky four wheel drive bits. But it's closed and you can't drive it anymore. So George's Junction is really just a camping area now, it doesn't have that good four wheel drive track. Prefer. We're leaving George's Junction. We're going to start heading up the mountain now. Try and find a spot for the night. It's about four o'clock. We're going to head on to a full drive track we know. They were hoping it's still open. It does kind of go along the edge of farmland so questionable whether or not it's still open you, you, you are allowed to drive on it there's never any signs or anything but I just feel like it's one of those tracks that would end up getting closed dad's coming up now Is it gonna be open? That's what we want to see. It's an unreal track. So now we're gonna drop back down off the side of this mountain into the valley. I'm just waiting for uh, Dad to catch up. It's 
to unlocked. Well, this track is only about 10 kilometers in length it takes a good half day to do as you're pretty much in low range the whole time changing back and forth between first second and third gear there's a lot of rough rocky sections that you're driving through as well as river crossings and navigating your way through the bush in Martana Now some locals helped us find this track a couple of years ago and they want to keep it as secret as possible. So if you want to drive it, you're just going to have to explore the area and try and find it yourself. This is uh, such a good track this one. It's kind of a bit of a secret track. It's it hardly gets used at all. It's, uh, it's a, sometimes a bit tricky to find the track, you can get a bit lost, but it follows the creek and you just got creek crossing after creek crossing, just beautiful area. All these swimming holes and cliffs around you, there's no one around here. Um, it's coming up 6 o'clock now, we're going to try and find somewhere to camp for the night, we'll have our own spot, swimming spot, we'll get a fire going gonna be good. <laughs>
all these river crossings, I was walking across them first to set up a camera and a tripod, and then walk back and drive across. But that ended up being a good thing anyway, because I was always able to put the best line through the river crossings, as a lot of them have boulders which you don't want to hit on your way across. The track is very overgrown and can be hard to follow in places. We lost the track a few times and had to backtrack to pick it up again. After finding the track again, and navigating a few more river crossings, we eventually found a nice spot to camp for the night. Took us a while, but we eventually found a camp spot here. It's about uh, 6.40, I think. We're gonna get a fire going, set up for the night. The creek's only just down there. Might even have a quick swim before uh, it gets dark. Do you like this spot here, Kai? We got a uh, nice big open paddock around us. Are you uh, are you having fun on this yeah. on this track today? Yeah. 